My name is Ben Schout. I'm a professor in the Industrial Design Department in the Technical University of Eindhoven. My group deals with social innovation issues. We uh, use games and playful interaction to make bottom-up approaches where patients and students or citizens organize themselves to improve their quality of life. I was just playing Pokemon. It's a virtual game, but it's played in the real city. And so it also brings together people from all around the world. So you can take this game everywhere, always on and anytime. So that's different from what we used to do on the kitchen table. So it unites much larger communities. The other thing that's important you know, in, in, in these games is data, the use of data. Data on itself is not that important anymore. You can find any data everywhere. For instance, if you're ill, you can easily find data on it, what it is. But it's much more important that you can do something with this data with people you like or with people who have the same problem and then share them. So these games are affinity spaces where people come together and change their lives according to the data. And these entertainment games can also be used in more serious settings. And that's what we do in our department. We use the strength of play as systems to organize people in city making. City Fabsub is developing a new neighborhood, Bijbsotam area, where there is a lot of water in the former harbor of the city of Amsterdam. And because these are self-builder parts of Amsterdam where people can develop their own houses, they have to deal with communal issues. So we try to organize the individual to the communal so to deal with these water issues. And what are the stakeholders there? Well, we have the city of Amsterdam, we have Waternet, who's going to be responsible for the structure, infrastructure. And we have the end users, who all want their own solutions. For instance, someone wants a septic tank to save water. They all want to have sustainable solutions. But one solution is, can be in the way of another solution. So what we do actually is we make games and play which we put on the table so that we let the stakeholders discuss these issues and converge on a solution. Games are verbs. They put things in action and they let you experience what it is to use the data. And that's the power of games and play so that you can really experience a role or what it is to be for instance a doctor or a scientist. The famous philosopher Huizinga already said that games are a pre-state of culture and that's what we see again. Games are part of our culture. It's the culture of youth and it has the future. It's a completely different way of dealing with issues and dealing with daytime.